Mario! Or more accurately, it's Rob from Barefoot Gaming, and I'm here to show you how to play Mario Kart in virtual reality. So before I say anything else, all credit on this goes out to my buddy Jason at VHS Productions. He's the one that figured out how to change all the settings and how to make this run as smooth as what you see. Uh, I'm going to put the link at the description box that if you want to see his video, you're welcome to. And he goes through all the steps as well. I've just tried to compress it and make it a little bit more concise. But I mean, Jason's the guy that figured all of this out. So all props to Jason. Now, before I actually get into what we're going to be doing, if you know anything about emulation, that's this. Now, a quick word on emulation. Now, emulation is kind of a gray area and you have to own the image of the game that you're going to be emulating. I am not going to give you a link where to find the ISO or the image file of the game. I mind you doing some searching, you can probably find it through YouTube or just Google, but again, I am not giving you any links. This is not a perfect process is another point I have to make. You are going to see graphical glitches, especially in the menus. Once you're in game, everything looks really good as you can see. Again, with the odd graphical glitch. And with that, let's get to the processes. I will try to keep this interesting and I'll try to keep it short. Let's go. Okay, so at this point you need to download Dolphin if you don't already have it on your machine. I am running Dolphin VR Hydra 5.0-250, which I believe is the newest version. Now, if you want to have a rough idea of what the image file is going to look size-wise, mine is 2.59 gig. And if you look at the bottom of the screen, I've got the Wii image file, my Wii image file listed as rmce01.wbfs, and that is the American version. This is the one I can verify works because, well, I mean, it's working on my machine. Don't worry about it not showing up right away, we are going to have to tell Dolphin where you've put the image file. We will get to that. Next Let's step, go to options and hotkeys. Now, I've highlighted everything in kind of that yellowish to give you an idea of what you need to adjust. Your device, if you're using a gamepad, I mean, which I am, I'm using an Xbox One wireless controller, I have it set up as below. What the free look options do is it adjusts where the camera is sitting. So what I like to do is I like to actually sit where Mario's head is. It gives me the view of his hands as well as makes me feel like, I mean, I am Mario looking around the screen. I use the directional arrows on my gamepad. You can use whatever you want. I found this to work the best. So to move up, to move down, I use the up and down arrows. I use the uh, left and right arrows to zoom in or zoom out, and I set my left shoulder, not the left trigger, but the left shoulder to free look reset. And what this does is while you're playing, if you're wanting to reorient the direction that you're facing, you just tap the left shoulder button and it'll just reset you back to default, but it'll be directly in front of you. Now this is a good time to point out that you want to make sure that if you're not seeing this clear, check your YouTube settings and make sure you're running it at least 1080p. I'm not going to go into each individual setting. I'm going to show you what is working for me and should work for you. So if it's checked on mine, check it on yours. And let's just cycle through all of the different tabs in the top. Again, I've highlighted them in that yellow to make it a little easier to see. The GameCube configuration I don't think matters, but this is what mine is set as. And I would say just make sure it's as close to as possible. So I did mention that you're going to want to point Dolphin to where your image is located. And in the path section here, add the location where you have put the image file. I'm going to touch on the advanced tab just a little bit. Now you can enable CPU clock override and you can play with this back and forth on your own. For myself, I can crank it up all the way, but if you're stuttering in game, feel free to drag that down. I'm running an i7 8700K and I'm overclocking mine. So performance is absolutely going to vary here. So let's go back to the main page and I want you to right click on the Mario Kart Wii and left click on properties. Now again, we've got a bunch of tabs to go through. I'm just gonna cycle them through, pause when you need, game config, copy so that it's the same, VR. Now, not every game that you're gonna emulate in VR is going to require the exact same settings, but this is what's gonna work for Mario Kart Wii. Copy it as is. Now, when you click the hide objects tab, you're gonna notice all those first person Mario things are not there. However, I'm going to put the script that you need to add them in the description below. So check the description copy and then left click show default and two tabs are going to pop open or two notepads. One is going to be rmc.ini as you see on the right and one will be rmc01 or something like that.ini. Click file, click save and then they're not just going to show up as soon as you click save. You're going to have to shut down Dolphin and start up Dolphin again after you have saved. 
Now, there is nothing in uh, patches, error codes, gecko codes, info, etc. So you can just close this down and let's continue configuring the rest. We're almost there. So now that we're back at the Dolphin VR main page, I want you to left click controllers. And what you're going to see is what is showing on your screen. The only thing you're going to have to adjust here is port one, switch that to standard controller, and then we're going to go to configure. Now I know what you might be thinking, why wouldn't we just use Wiimotes? It doesn't work well. I'm not going to worry about getting into the details on this. For right now, it doesn't matter if you're using a wheel or whether you're using a gamepad, you're going to want to set it up for port one, standard controller, and then let's configure it. Again, pretty straightforward. Follow through with what I've got on the screen. I'm going to say make sure you select gamepad, and I'm also going to say once you've selected everything, name a profile and save it because you may have to load this back up again in the future. The ones that are important, obviously A and B, because that's your accelerate and your brake. Uh, start, it's important. Set up your controller however you like, but this is how I have set mine up and it works well for me. Now this part is completely optional, but if you want to put in a texture pack to make everything look a little bit nicer, like the grass and some of the icons and stuff, I'm going to have a link in the description for the texture pack and you put it in the following place. So under this PC, documents, dolphin emulator, under load, textures, and in an RMC folder. That's it. All the little PNG files and stuff, just drop them in there. And then when the game loads, it should automatically load them up and everything will look a little bit nicer. Not a requirement, just an option. And that's it. You're ready to play. You need to launch Steam VR, have it running in the background. Make sure it recognizes your gamepad if you're using it. Launch Dolphin VR, click the file, click run, and you should be good to go. As I mentioned, it's going to look a little wonky in the menus. But once you move around past the menus and get into the game, it should look exactly like what you see me playing. And that's it. Hopefully you guys are now able to enjoy playing Mario Kart in virtual reality. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of our videos. Like I mentioned at the beginning, check out VHS Productions. You might want to throw a subscription his way as well. Share. I love it when you guys share. We get these videos out to all kinds of places I've never thought of before. And thank you so much. Comment if you have questions. I don't really know that I can do much more troubleshooting than what I have done in the description, but if there's something, I'll try. Other than that, I'm out of here. I will talk to you again real soon. See ya.